One of the exciting abstracts that was presented at a late breaker presentation at ID Week 2019 was sifiderocol compared to meropenem for patients with hospital or ventilator associated pneumonia. Now these are really important data because up to this point the only data that we've seen for sifiderocol is a urinary tract infection study where they compared sifiderocol to imipenem for patients with complicated urinary tract infections. Now we know as clinicians this is a drug that ultimately we may be using for hospital or ventilator associated pneumonia in our hospitals, so these are the kinds of data we need to know to ultimately know how to position this agent. Now in the study themselves, they randomized about 150 patients to either receive sifiderocol, two grams every eight hours over a three hour infusion, or meropenem, two grams every eight hours, also over a three hour infusion. Now the dosing of meropenem in the study is particularly important because now we know we're giving dose optimized meropenem at a very nice dose that's gonna achieve very nice target attainment, even for more resistant pathogens for patients with HAP or VAP. So the dosing of meropenem is unlike other prior studies where they've given only one gram every eight hours. So an important differentiator in this particular study. Now what the investigators found is that the study patients themselves were moderately ill. About 60% of patients in the study were ventilated and the median Apache 2 scores were right around 15. So these patients weren't critically ill and on the doorsteps of death, but they were moderately ill and certainly an important study population that we see in our hospitals. The primary outcome of the study was all-cause mortality at day 14. So you looked at a shorter endpoint here. Many of the other HAP-VAP trials we see, they look at a 28-day mortality. That was a secondary endpoint in this study. Ultimately, what the investigators found is that they found that sifiderocal met its non-inferiority margins compared to meropenem, and so the groups were very comparable. In fact, the groups were comparable when broken down by pathogen, and also among patients broken down by severity of illness and all other subgroup analyses that they did. Now the one thing that we'd like to know a little bit more about this trial is 22% of patients after randomization had a meropenem resistant isolate, isolate isolated from their respiratory tract. We don't have any data on those patients that had meropenem resistant infections quite yet, but this will certainly be something that we keep an eye out for as the data is published. But so far, this is all good news for sifiderocal, and it looks to be at least non-inferior to meropenem for patients with HAPVAP, and these are certainly important data that clinicians need to know once this drug gets approved and where to use it in your hospitals.